I don't even know what I want to say to start this one. Hello? No, we always say the same thing. Hey everybody, welcome to our midweek update for September the 6th. Is yep. it the 6th? Yeah, it is. I nailed it. It's always, First try, even. Yeah, well, I, today kind of feels like a Tuesday. Yeah, having Monday be a holiday kind of has thrown my week off as far as days in my head, that kind of thing. Yeah, it, it's majorly because I'm like, oh, no, I, I thought, you know, I have to be in Salina. And then I'm like, no, you're in Salina yesterday. Right. So it, it, it does. The, the four-day weeks are nice, but they do mess with me some. They are. Yep, it is nice, but yep, it definitely takes a little bit to get back in that rhythm that routine of life yeah when you, when you miss a day did you do anything fun for labor day um i smoked a brisket oh I, i'm glad that that i was yeah. thinking brian this is the midweek right no like, i smoked a brisket you smoked, so that was fun smoking briskets okay right smoking crack no not so much don't do that right no. um yeah that sounds like a good time yeah. so you, you did you that's all you did on labor day smoked a br- brisket pretty much we just hung out at home it was a nice relaxing day that sounds wonderful yeah we did that on saturday yeah yeah that's been. i was just thankful for a day with no real plans nothing that we had to do that is nice yeah so no labor per se that's good you're not supposed to labor on labor day which is kind of ironic maybe they should call it non-labor day non-labor day because if you heard the name you would think you're supposed to like work you're supposed to work right but I guess not. No. No. You get to be... Never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else? I don't wanna... think so. Okay. Well, then let's jump into our announcements. A couple of announcements this week. Uh, we have a junior high Sunday school class that's starting this coming Sunday. That's tent. right. That's right. This Sunday is the uh, back to Sunday school celebration. Back to Sunday school breakfast, right? Yep. yep. So that'll be happening at nine o'clock down in Beckwith, I presume. And yeah, then uh, the junior high Sunday school will also be starting up this week as well. Yeah. And junior high Sunday school is in the basement. Um, and then this week we'll be having breakfast for the kids. And on top of that, we are also going to be giving out Bibles to the third graders this year. That's right. Third graders get their Bible at the 10 o'clock service. Yes. So So make sure if you have a third grader, um, if you're not staying for the 10 o'clock service, because maybe you worship at 9, and then you you go to another service, uh, do be sure to get a Bible, though, uh, for them. And so let us know if if you're in that unique situation. Otherwise, we'll be recognizing all of our third graders. at the 10 and we're certainly talk about this some on Sunday too but we greatly appreciate everybody who has stepped up to help us with Sunday school for another year uh, we have some really gifted not only Sunday school teachers but we have been blessed with great uh, Kaylee does a great job during the 10 o'clock hour and so many others that invest in children in so many ways in the life of our church yeah yeah for real um, also, we're going to be having a carry-in. We're having a Roman-themed dinner. We are. On the 24th. Do you know why we're having a Roman-themed dinner, Brian? Well, because we're going to study the Book of Romans. We're studying the Book of Romans. So we're going to um, create a Roman atmosphere, sort of. We're going to transport you to Rome. Are you going to wash my feet like a like a Roman? I would wash your feet. Okay. Brian will do feet washing uh, before you come in. Yeah. So it can feel kind of real. And then, uh, but uh, Charlotte wants us to make very clear, we're not having any of like the gross Roman food. Just, oh, yeah. just good stuff. So there will be a list of stuff. If you want some ideas, you can see Charlotte at the Welcome it's Center. It's actually on the Welcome Center. Yep, she oh. has some stuff on a, a sheet of paper that she would love for you to help bring. So if you could sign up for some of those items or one of those items, that would be a great help for that day. I wonder if crazy bread from Little Caesars is Roman. I mean, it's Caesars right there in the name. True. And it's bread. And it's bread. And the Romans love bread. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay. Um, Emmaus? Uh, What is that? Oh, there's just some upcoming walks. I think that was just to get word out about 
the walks and if anyone was interested in those to uh, let Charlotte know. Yep, so if you're interested in going on an Emmaus walk uh, and if you're thinking, well, what is an Emmaus walk? Uh, see Charlotte, she'll give you all the information on that. But I know a lot of people uh, really experience a real closeness with God uh, during those weekends. So if you're at a period where you know, you really want to grow in your faith and Emmaus walk might be a great option for That's you. Right. Uh, Leroy Eddy is going to be doing, speaking of Emmaus, he's doing a Kairos walk, which is kind of like Emmaus in, in prison. prison. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and one of the coolest things about the Kairos walk is everyone in the prison, not just the people that go on the walk, get cookies. And I know to us, we think, okay, you get cookies. But if you've been in jail for five years, and have not had anything that's actually been like freshly prepared, getting some cookies is a big deal. And so the reason why they give cookies to everyone is they just want to say, hey, we just want to remind you that God loves you. And we know that the scriptures tell us that Jesus came to set captives free. Um, Isaiah 61 says, you know, that the anointing that was on Christ was to proclaim liberty to those who were captive. And obviously that doesn't just apply to people who are in prison, but it certainly does apply to them. Mm -hmm. And so we know that no matter what we've done, that the grace of God is capable of redeeming us and restoring us. And wouldn't it be great if the power of the Holy Spirit fell on a few of those individuals and revival broke out in the prison? That'd be awesome. And I believe God can do that. So, yeah, I think so too. Um, if you want to help with that, see Leroy Eddy. I know uh, we just, yesterday at Salina, we, we went over there and I think they did... I saw 40 dozen. I was going to say 30. Yeah, so they got saw, another 10 in after we left. I saw 40 dozen cookies were made yesterday. So, yeah, that's a lot of cookies. I believe that's 480 cookies. The, if your math is correct, I think so. And if it's not, I'm going to get a bunch of flack for it now. I shouldn't have just thrown it out like that. If it was Baker's dozen, now it I'm gonna actually 520. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, there's a, let's see, we already did yeah, that. Yeah, we did that. Uh, don't forget about this Sunday evening yes. in Salina, the uh, Revival Night. We will be coming together and worshiping with Remnant Worship. And we would ask, because it's going to be outside on the lawn as long as the weather holds, that you bring a chair. You know, it's more comfortable. They'll have some, some folding chairs and stuff, but a lawn chair or a bag chair is probably more comfortable than a, a hard metal folding chair. Yeah, and I would really, I mean, please, if you have time, uh, make it make the drive to Salina, 7 o'clock. The reason why it's at Salina is it's kind of the halfway point for all of the churches. And not only are we going to be worshiping, but we're going to take about 10 or 15 minutes to talk about why we're partnering together. And it's very biblical. It's centered right there in the New Testament. And just uh, talk about ways that we can serve as the capital C Church, the Church Universal and help each other grow instead of only being interested in ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, so many times if you read Paul's letters, he, he commends the churches who help churches in other areas. And that's what we're doing. We're saying we don't, you know, we want to see the kingdom come in Wapak, but we also want to see the kingdom come in Salina and, and in other areas, Van Wert around, around our area. We want to see it come in cold water. We want to see it come everywhere because, well, when the kingdom comes, it, it, it benefits all of us and God gets all the glory. Yeah. So don't forget about that. And then the following Sunday is the big auction. It's it's hard to believe it's already auction time again. I know. it. Uh, this year has flown by. I know we've talked about it before, but it just seems like, man, the days go fast. But yeah, the auction will be here. And I know there's a lot of good things to bid on. I bet Donna's basement's full. Wally's probably just ecstatic about all the stuff that's in his house right now. He's probably excited that we're in the home stretch and that those items will be moving out of his house into possibly your house. Into your house. And if you have any, you know, items, large or small, just drop them off on Wally's front porch. And no, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Right. Uh, bring them here to the church. And uh, I know that Donna does a great job. Um, it never fails how she can take all of this stuff and just make it into these wonderful things and we certainly appreciate her efforts and she has a committee that she'll introduce to us that night that helps her do that but what a blessing uh she is to us and not just the auction but everything that she does for the in the life of our church that's right so don't forget to get your tickets the dinner starts at five and the auction will start at six 
Yes, tickets are $20 a piece, or you can get a table of eight, eight for $150. You get a little break there. You get... You, you want to get a table. I yeah. mean, there's no sense in just flushing money down the toilet. Yeah, right. you want to get a table of eight. I'm getting a table of eight, and right now I only know, uh, I think I only have six seats, so I still got to find two more people. Well, there you go. Um, and, Brian, if I want to get a ticket, where do I get it at? Well, I think Janice can help you in the office get those tickets, or on Sunday mornings there's been some, some ladies from the auction committee who have been have set up a table in the narthex and they will be glad to help you get those tickets for the auction and you know what the the food is legitly good yeah it's very good i um, haven't heard who's catering this year but it's always been really good it is good food um and it, it's a great time so even if you're like you know i don't i probably won't buy anything at the auction you never know and you, you will just have fellowship. yeah the dinner and the fellowship is just great you will get to know people maybe that I don't know how many times I've heard people say, I went to the auction and I saw that person all the time across the room in the church, but I never got a chance to talk to them. Right. So, yep, it is a good time for sure. Anything else on announcements? I don't think so. Romans is starting this week. I'm super so. excited. Oh, I do have another announcement. Yeah. yeah, don't forget about football parking. If you're interested yes. in helping with football parking, we have a home game this week against our uh, our in in county rivals the the St. Mary's Rough Riders so that'll be Friday evening and we ask for your help on that from about 5:45 till 7 right at kickoff it's a it's a super easy lift most weeks you know there's quite a bit of money that's raised and it really helps with missional items uh, especially for our children and youth and so it it doesn't take that long would love to see you and it's a great way again to just meet new people. Yeah. Yep. And it's a it's a real, like you said, it's a real easy thing to do. If you're going to the game, you can come a little early and hang out and fellowship and, and talk to folks that are parking their cars here. Yeah, and it's a, it is, it's a ministry to the people, too. A lot of times you can give people directions. You welcome them. You extend hospitality on behalf of our community. Most of them, not so much with St. Mary's, but sometimes these people travel a ways. And right. so it's just a great opportunity to show them God's love. That's right. All right. So, Anything else? I think that's it. All right. Well, let's jump over to our birthdays. Well, we'd like to wish happy birthday this week to Gracelyn Tooman, Jordan Bowers, Whitney Webb, Terry Dickey, Denny Swank, Brenda Bradford, and Janelle McKee. Happy birthday, everybody. Hey, happy birthday. We pray that you are very blessed in your birthday week this week. All right, Brian. Well, do we have anything else that you'd like to talk about today? I don't think so. I think that was just getting those announcements out to keep everybody up to date. That's important. Yeah, make sure you get to church this week. Um, really excited i've mentioned it now three times but i'm going to do it again you don't want to miss our first week in our roman series that's right starting uh, a new series starting a new series in into our our fall rhythm and so um looking forward to seeing all of you and in the meantime uh do let us know if you need anything and uh, we just pray that god would bless you abundantly so have a great week have a good week everybody